<coughs> oh, All right, here we go. Jolly Joker. Oh, and follow up on Joey Styles. Joey Styles. Well, I, you know, I've never had a crossword with Joey Styles. I've not been around him that much. I've maybe had three or four conversations with him because uh, I've never been to the same place at the same time. But I was reading all this stuff that he, during the election that he was writing. He's one of these fucking right-wing, radical Republicans, conservative, I call them the three C's, conservative Christian cocksuckers. Just because they're miserable in life doesn't mean everybody else has to be. Um, and he, so he's writing all this stuff at Barack Hussein Obama, and he's a guy, he's born in Kenya, and he's a fucking Muslim and all this stuff. And I did my little modest little podcast called Who's Slamming Who with Tommy Fierro, where I just blistered fucking Joey Styles, and immediately my downloads doubled, and everybody starts saying, hey, wait, wait, and I got a few letters from Republicans, but, you know, they couldn't really spell all the curse words correctly. And then, evidently, it got back to the office, and they made Joey Styles quit twittering or twattering or tittering or whatever the fuck it is that he was doing. But, uh, I, you know, and to the, just... Can I just ask my own question? <laughs> I know that a lot of people are just mad the black guy won, right? And I know that a lot of people are just fucking miserable. But here you've got a choice. Okay, let's say you get sick in the United States of America, supposedly the greatest country in the world. You get sick. Here's the choices you've got. You get sick, but you got insurance, so it pays your doctor bills. Or you get sick, and you got insurance, but you got a pre-existing condition, or they find a loophole, and they don't pay your doctor bills, and you go bankrupt. Or you get sick, and you're self-employed, or you're not insured, or whatever, and you go bankrupt. Or you get sick, and you go to the doctor, and the government pays for it, some way or another. The Republicans have managed to prey upon people that are so mad that the black guy won, that they would rather go bankrupt to preserve the glory of the United States of America than to fucking have the government pay for their fucking health care. I've paid approximately, probably, a million and a half dollars in income tax over the last 25 years. If I get sick, they ought to have a nurse come to my house and blow me for free. Fuck you. Fuck you, Republicans. You're fucking old, rich, white, crooked assholes. They don't like, if you're gay, you ain't in a fucking club. Oh, gay people can't get married and be miserable like the rest of us? No, because that's a sin against God. If you're black, they don't want you. Hispanic, they don't want you. Fucking not religious, they really don't want you because George Carlin or fucking uh, Bill Maher or somebody might smarten up your fucking suckers. What the fuck's going on that you're fucking doing to them? So if you're not in the club, which is basically rich, white, crooked, Republican, and generally old... They don't want you. Guess what? We would like to have something for our taxes. We would like to have people talking to us instead of at us. George Bush bungled the goddamn war. We have still, almost 10 years later, have still not even begun to fucking find the guy that did it, but we bought it, you know, broke it, you, you broke it, you bought it. We broke a fucking country, now we bought that, they didn't have anything to fucking do with it. Sure, they were fucking cave people with automatic weapons. But they weren't going to do anything immediately. Find the guy that fucked with you first before you go out changing the fucking world. Bush and Cheney and the rest of these fucking morons were trying to wage a holy war. My God's dick is bigger than your God. No wonder the Muslims want to blow us up and fuck with us because they think that we're trying to take their God away from them. I got news for you. I don't believe in the supernatural. I don't believe in a supreme being, an invisible man in the sky. But if I did and somebody from... Fucking Iraq or Kuwait came over and said, well, we're, you're wrong and we're going to fuck your God up. Well, then I'm fighting for my God, right? Which is what Bush and Cheney did. They have instigated a holy war between the Muslims and the Christians when in actuality, as John Lennon said, imagine there's no religion. It's easy if you try. No hell below us, above us, only sky. Let's work on not fucking blowing each other up first, morons. Maybe that would be a fucking thought for the elected officials of the various countries of the world. Just don't blow each other up. Don't worry about who goes to church on Sunday or fucking who's fucking who or what sex they are or what color they are or whatever. Just don't blow each other up. And maybe give us a doctor every once in a while. $250 antibiotics for eight days for a sinus infection, right? Just give us a doctor every once in a while. Don't let the pharmaceutical companies fuck us in the ass. Don't let the politicians fuck us in the ass. And don't blow us up. We'll take care of the other shit. I've noticed that the Democrats are more, the ones I see on television are more like people I'd like to sit in the same room with, and the Republicans are more like people that I would like to set fire to.
He's down about 10 pounds, too. We were talking about that before. Too. Get me off the sugar, you see? I'm not very yeah, fucking... He, he's calm. 